Hey guys, my name is Amadea and today I'm gonna walk you through my favorite tips and tricks in Procreate. So if you're new, make sure to tag along because these will be lifesavers for speeding up your workflow and also getting to know the little loopholes in Procreate for making digital art. If you guys wanna support me as an artist, make sure to hit like and subscribe. So as I was saying, I am going to get into the tips and tricks in a second. I am just gonna do a very basic run through if you're completely new and you can skip this if you don't wanna see, but you might hear something new. So I will tag along. <laughs> Here you can go have your brush library. And if you wanted to see your brush settings, you just tap on your brush and I will make a video in the future explaining what all these different settings are. So if you are here now, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss that video. One tips that is a life saving for any kind of brush that you might be using you know sometimes you use a brush and you just want to fill bigger space with it like want the brush to be bigger but the maximum size is like this what you can do is you can go to the properties of the brush and turn up the maximum size here right now it's 20 percent and you could say 100 percent and see your brush becomes so much bigger so i often use this tweak to make my brushes that I really love bigger. <laughs> um, this one is a sketching brush and I love making it a lot bigger so that when I use pressure sensitivity, sensitivity, it covers more ground. So that is where you do that in the settings. It's just a little tip. Here, the smudge tool I don't use very often, but what's fun is that you can smudge with any of your brushes. So if you want the smudging to be a specific texture, I would pick a brush with that same texture that I drew with. And then when I smudge, it's gonna keep that texture as opposed to with a, like a, you see how this texture is a little bit more grainy as opposed to using a smooth brush, the texture when you smudge is gonna be a lot smoother. So that is good to know. For eraser, you can use, you know, erase lots of different ways. Sometimes I want a really nice circle erased. Sometimes I want a little bit more textured, like maybe clean this up a little bit and I can use a texture brush as an eraser. And this is a super helpful tool when trying to make a painting look organic. And then finally, here are our layers. So there are just so many different things you can do with layers, but I'm gonna get into that when we get to our trick parts. And here are your colors. So one trick that I love doing with colors is I pull this palette sometimes and move it around. And the other trick is using the harmony, the color complementary section here. You can actually change it to like analogous colors or split complementary colors. And this is really helpful for finding great color combinations. If I want to put this off my screen, I just simply press that X and then it comes back here. So this is at the values is also really good to know. You can actually copy and paste this hexadecimal if you want to insert it in some kind of graphic design program and want the actual um, number for a certain color. So Procreate is just all around amazing for all that. And then of course here are color palettes that color palettes can just become so overwhelming. So I usually use this Amadeus favorite palette. So we covered the, this section of the screen and what I use this for mainly is adding pictures in here. And what's a really fun trick is actually swipe this to the left and you can insert a private photo, which means that when I add this photo on here and look at the time-lapse video, it is actually not showing me inserting that picture at all. So this is a really cool little trick that you can utilize when you add photos here. And then at the canvas, I sometimes use the crop resize feature and the drawing guide feature which is a very cool feature like at the drawing guide here you can actually like make um quadrant symmetry here so that just means that when you draw it kind of creates this really cool effect that you don't have to redraw everything and you can mess around with these settings here in the drawing guide and then here i love the reference feature i can open this reference and just kind of put it here on the side and that means I can even like insert an image or something that I want to show here and so that I don't have to split the screen is just a tiny reference there for myself. Here the adjustments I use a lot so the saturation brightman adjustment is really great to just experiment with quick colors so if I want to see like oh I am using this brown red color but I want it to be a little more pinkish 
I can turn up the saturation, turn up the... And here I sometimes also use Gaussian Blur, which just blurs everything when you pull your cursor or your pen on the screen. And then noise just adds this really cool noisy effect. And then I sometimes switch this from single to multicolor, which you can see here just kind of adds that dimension in the color palette. And I think that adds a really cool look. And then my other favorite adjustment to use is chromatic aberration, which creates this other cool effects. Ah, look at that. <laughs> if you want to watch my tutorial on how I draw faces, and how I sketch Pinterest girls, I also use show you guys how to use these adjustments in action. So those tutorials could be really helpful. This is the selection tool. So you can just kind of choose if you want to select freehand or, you know, automatic. And these selections are super helpful. For example, if I wanted to cut out all this and just leave that section, I could select it and do that or select something freehand, select something freehand here and move it around. So the selection tool is all around very awesome. All right, so now that we ran through what are the main features of Procreate on the right and on the left, I'm gonna show you a couple of secret tips and shortcuts that will be speeding up your workflow tremendously. So the very first tip that I'm gonna share is if you're drawing a face from a front angle, then that means that the face is gonna be symmetrical or you can use this also if you're drawing a frame for a portrait character. I would turn on drawing guide and go to vertical symmetry here. And that will be super helpful. I'm gonna pick some cute color. And this will be super helpful for not having to redraw re every single feature Twice, you can just kind of go on town with it and draw this forward looking face. And you know, after you've drawn this, if you want to move around the features so it looks a little more natural, you're welcome to turn off this symmetry and do that. But for now, it's super helpful to speed up our process in drawing a face. And I love using this feature for that purpose. Here we go. I'm gonna erase a little bit of the eyes white here. And look at that, that was a super fast way to draw a face. So I would definitely recommend using symmetry for these purposes. I can even, you know, draw kind of the face shape. That's cute enough. It's kind of hard to do the face shape with the rotational symmetry turned in because sometimes these things are just a little more organic and not perfectly symmetrical. So if you want a more natural look, you can turn off drawing assist here and grab Liquify. So second tip, use Liquify often, especially if you're a beginner, this is such a great tool. So Liquify allows you to move things around very easily and fast. So if you would notice, you know, the nose is a little bit too low, you can just kind of move it up a little bit and this line needs to be lower. See, so this was a before and an after. So the face looks a little cuter already. This is my second tip is to use Liquify. Third tip is my favorite tip. It's essential, it's amazing. Go into settings and under preferences here, you can go under gesture controls and go down to layer select. After layer select, make sure that the list one that says Apple Pencil while holding will invoke layer select is turned on. Basically what this does is when you have 50 different layers here and it's really hard to find what this dot is on, you know, like when you just see a dot and you want to erase it and you don't know where it's at. So let me just give you guys an example. I am going to put a dot on that layer. So there is this line on this layer and the dot on this layer. And I can't find them. I don't know which layer they're on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this little, this, this little thing, thing there and then touch that. And it takes me to that layer automatically. See, it takes me back to this layer automatically. So when you can't find something, make sure that setting is turned on. And then very quickly, you can just kind of go to the layer you want and erase the detail that's bothering you. This is also a super helpful feature if you want to jump around between layers fast instead of just finding the layer in here, you can simply do this and then you're like, oh, I'm already in the layer that the face is on. So, yay. So my number third tip was layer select. It's amazing. 
All right. Tip number four is a super helpful feature. This is for coloring things faster. So if you go to selection and freehand and turn on color fill, after that, pick a new layer and select an area on your canvas like this. And then after you were about to close the selection, you just tap this little circle and that fills in the entire area with a certain color. So I'm gonna move this under the face and we already colored this area super fast as opposed to using a brush this would taken a lot faster because you would have had to draw the circle color it in or even if you do the color drop method you would have to draw a circle and then pull it in and fill it out as opposed to this way let's clear this layer and i'm gonna show you guys again you just have to select an area real fast and tap the dot and it's already filled in so this was my fourth tip my fifth procreate trip is my fifth book <laughs> my fifth procreate tip <laughs> my fifth procreate tip please please try this this is amazing tell me how it goes oh my god if you can say this the first try i am gonna give you this kind of my shop so definitely be honest about it and message me about it my fifth procreate tip <laughs> is when you want a brush to draw streamer lines you tap on the to tap on the brush and you're going to turn on streamline and what this will do is your lines will be will be way more just smooth so this is an amazing feature let me compare that before that it this wasn't turned on for me at all and if I wanted to draw that same thing, this is how it would have looked like for me. So you can see it's very similar, but it's definitely a lot more wonky there than it is there. So Streamline can be a helpful tool to draw smooth lines. But for my sketching brushes, I like to have this off. So see, this is my sketching brush. This is off. But for my line art brush, I like having it a little bit higher. So it's 66% for my line art brush. So this is really helpful for drawing smooth line art. So that was tip number five. Yay. All right, guys, this is it for today. Make sure to subscribe so you will see my next video, which will be a review on the software I use, which is Procreate, and then the equipment I use, which is an iPad Pro. And I actually had a different iPad before, so I'm gonna share the differences and what I would recommend for you for the future. Make sure to tag along and like this video and let me know in the comments if you're able to say this tongue twister. Fifth Procreate tip. Oh my gosh, I got it. <laughs> All right, guys, love you all. Thanks for being here.